In this drawn's quick tip, we're going to go through how to set up a model so that when the throttle is in its lowest position, it would automatically deploy air brakes on your vehicle. This is something that's been asked for by one of the subscribers. So I'm going to go through this at reasonable pace. So I'm assuming that you've watched most of my other videos that are in the Tyrannus playlist. If you haven't seen those, then there's a link in the description. Uh, but what we're gonna have to do is use special functions, a logical switch and a mix to make this happen. It might sound a little bit complicated, but I'll go through it step by step. I've already set a model up here that's got the bits and pieces sorted out. So if I double click it, I'll show you how it works. On this model, channel one is going to be our throttle, channel two is going to be our air brakes. So if I show you what that means is here's our throttle response. And as we drop the throttle to its very lowest position, you'll see the throttle cut off and channel two, which is our air brakes, turn on to deploy. Down, 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 bang. And there's the air brakes coming on with the throttle in its lowest position. And it's all being done through a logical switch. So let me set this up again in a brand new model and talk you through each of the steps. So we'll create a new model in position two. Uh, we'll call it sail play. We'll have the throttle again on channel one. We won't have any ailerons. We won't bother with flaps, but we will have air brakes and we'll pop those on channel two and then elevator and rudder we'll just put those on three and four okay so there's our brand new model and if i open that up we have our standard four inputs for the four channels and we have the mixes here's our throttle here is channel two which is our air brakes that's assigned the air brakes to a switch so there's air brakes on and air brakes off now the first thing we need to do is to create a logical switch. Now a logical switch is just like a physical switch, but it doesn't exist in the physical world. It's turned on and off when the condition is met. So we have to assign a function or tell it what the condition is that we want it to be testing all the time. And we're gonna say when A is less than X. Now value one, we're gonna pick up the throttle channel and value two is minus 90 minus 95 either of those will work and what will happen is when the throttle channel drops below minus 90 and if you remember the throttle channel goes from minus 100 to 100 is its full range when it's its very lowest position the logical switch one will turn on so let me show you what that looks like here's logical switch one the indicator here's our throttle and here is our flaps at the moment we haven't set the flaps up so as i move the throttle around once it gets below the position we've set, you'll see the logical switch one will turn on. So off, on, off, on. That makes things dead easy because now we can use that logical switch sensing the position of the throttle to set up a mix and a special function. So the mix we're going to need to add onto channel two, which is our air brake channel. We'll add a new mix in. The source will be logical switch one because that's the one that's doing the sensing and we're going to say that's going to replace the value with 100%. So it's going to completely overwrite the channel value when L1 is on. Let's look at what that does. So back in simulate, here's our throttle again, and now when we drop below and L1 comes on, watch what happens to channel two. Channel two changes. So what happens is, here we are, we have our throttle turned off, our air brakes are on, I increase the throttle a little bit past the threshold, L1 turns off and the air brakes go back into the body. Now that's fine, however, we do have a bit of a problem down here in that there is a situation we can get into where the engine is still running but the air brakes are deployed. So the last thing we can do to get rid of that little aberration is pop into special functions this is normally where we do things like set up sound. We're going to assign the switch for the special functions L1. The action is override channel one, which is our throttle. Put that as minus 100% and enable it. So now when L1 is on, not only does it 
deploy the air brakes, but it also disables the throttle channel at the bottom. So let's go into simulate again. Here's our throttle working beautifully. As I come down, watch what happens. Bang. So now when the air brakes are deployed, I also have stopped the engine running. As I increase the throttle, once it gets over the threshold and L1 turns off, the engine now will start to run and I can ramp up and the air brakes are not deployed. So those are the three things you need to do. First thing, set up your logical switch so you can sense where the throttle actually is. Secondly, go into mixes and add a special mix to the air brakes channel so that when that logical switch is tripped, it actually deploys the air brakes automatically. And finally, in special functions, you can say also when that logical switch turns on, override my throttle channel and set it to minus 100, which is throttle off. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.